The ear detects sound and is an organ responsible for helping us maintain our balance. There are three parts to the ear, the outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of the pinna, so it's this portion of your ear here. Then you have the middle ear, which consists of the ear bones, the ear ossicles, the malleus, stapes, and incus. And then the inner ear contains the cochlea and the semicircular canals. Focusing on the outer ear, then the pinna, the role of the pinna is to collect sound waves and focus them onto the eardrum. The small bones, which make up the middle ear, the incus, stapes, and malleus, their role is to amplify the sound waves. Don't forget about the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube connects the middle ear with the throat. It helps to equalize pressure either side of the eardrum and it allows the eardrum to transmit vibrations. So now we're going to summarize how the ear actually hears things. So we need to start by discussing the fact that that pinna collects the sound waves, transfers the sound waves to the middle ear to the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates and then the role of the middle ear, the ossicles, is to amplify the sound waves, to amplify those vibrations. The vibrations pass to the inner ear, specifically the cochlea which contains hair cells which are sensitive to those vibrations. The hair cells in the cochlea send electrical impulses to the brain via the auditory nerve. So that's a summary as to how the ear hears sounds, but how does it maintain balance? Well, the important thing with balance is the semicircular canals. Crucially, the semicircular canals contain a fluid. As the head moves, the fluid in the semicircular canals move. This transmits information to the brain, specifically the cerebellum, which has an important role to play in maintaining our balance. It's obviously important that we take care of our ears. If we're exposed to a very large sound, like an explosion, it can cause damage to the ear bones, the ear ossicles, incus, malleus, and stapes. It can even cause the eardrum to burst, and this means that the sound waves can't be amplified properly. Prolonged exposure to a loud noise may lead to tinnitus, which is a ringing of the ear. It can even cause long-term hearing loss. And this is due to damage to those hair cells in the cochlea, meaning that no longer can electrical impulses be sent along the auditory nerve to the brain.